let's say you have your pitch now, now you have to use it, right? So you can uh, go to job fairs or tech talks and hackathons as well to find and talk to these recruiters. So we're first going to go over job fairs. Um, so aside from applying online, talking to someone face to face will definitely get a foot in the door. The recruiters get much more information about what kind of person you are, not just bullet points and numbers. So before going to a job fair, you should first prepare a list of companies that you want to go to. Uh, show up early, very early. Uh, job fairs are notorious for super long lines and if you can get to the beginning of the line, that's like one or two more companies that you're able to talk to. Uh, you should also print a lot of resumes because yeah, you have, let's say you want to talk to 10 companies. Well, there's still 20 other companies that are there. And even though you don't talk to them, uh, you, can still, you can still ask, oh, can I just drop off this resume? And I heard some of my friends getting their internships through that. If you're just starting out, you don't have to go to the big companies. Smaller companies, they have shorter lines and they're willing to hear you out still. And most of the time, their work is still very interesting. Um, if your school has an early access program, then definitely, definitely do that. Like, let's say your job fair starts at 10 a.m., but early access people get in at 9 a.m., that's one whole hour they could be talking to more companies, and within that hour, there are usually less lines per company, which is super awesome. Uh, and it's at the very beginning of the day when these companies haven't talked to anyone yet, so there's, their minds are still fresh. They're not tired from like talking to 20, 30 billion students. Um, so if your school has an early access program, to definitely, definitely get in on that. And then, yeah, just prepare a few questions to ask them. Ask them about their company, their culture, uh, what they like the most about their job, what they don't like the most, uh, their favorite food to eat at the company. Yeah. Do you have anything to add about job fairs? Um, I definitely think like there's a lot of merits just because you don't have to worry about filter getting filtered. You can make your impression in person, and if you have good people skills, it's especially important because it's one of the few ways you can stick out and not just be reduced to a mere number or a school. And I like what Jeffrey said about just having a game plan and taking the time to prepare, know where you want to go, know your plan. It's okay to not get the big companies, especially if you're just starting out, because there's still plenty of opportunities at the smaller ones, and you won't spend as much time waiting in line. And also, for questions, I personally like to ask stuff like, uh, why do you join this company? What's your favorite thing about this company? What's your least favorite thing about this company? If you could change something about this company, what would it be? And then, what's a daily, what's a daily day in work like for you? And it's just ways to get insights about their culture and just get them talking to about themselves. Because the better your conversation is with the recruiter, the more naturally it flows, or how you're just like talking about everything and anything, then it's a good sign that you'll likely get an interview if you're able to connect on a very on a deeper level than just, oh, I go to this school and here's my resume. Nice. I say in general, uh, ask for their email if you can and send them a follow-up email when you're done just because the follow-up email at the end of the day is for the, a way for you, the recruiters to remember you just talk about like, thank you for coming out, thank you for just taking time to talk with me and mention some things you talked about that way you'll be, you'll be able to put a reminder in them and that way like, they might be able to distinguish you from like the other hundreds, thousands of candidates that they saw that day definitely it always helps to bring extra resumes since you never know when you run out you, you never know when there's another company you didn't think of visiting that you can drop off and maybe get an interview, which never hurts. Don't focus too much on the swag, focus more on the job first and then the swag. Uh, even though some of the stuff like t-shirts, water bottles, or umbrellas are all really nice. But, and understand that it takes patience, because you have to grind through the career fair where long lines, mess, you're just tired from standing around all day. Yeah, my back hurts every time. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's raining, but just know that you have to like grit your teeth and do it because you, there's very few opportunities that are much better than getting to talk to recruiters in person, face to face. And um, job fairs are, I think, year round. Every quarter there's a job fair, but the most important one is during the fall because um, during the fall is when the big companies recruit for the next year's summer spot, and um, it comes once a year. And for us, it's like during week two, so 
even though the school year just starts, the biggest job here is already hitting, so you better be ready for it. Yeah. Um, aside from job fairs, there are also tech talks. Um, oftentimes, companies will hold tech talks around the time of the job fair, either a week before the job fair or within a week after the job fair. Um, you can even try to just talk to them at the tech talk and not talk to them at all at the job fair and just focus on other companies at the job fair. Now, um, for me personally, I actually got uh, two of my internships from Tech Talks, Hulu and Yelp. And um, I feel that at Tech Talks, recruiters and engineers are much more relaxed and they have more time. And definitely catch them, catch them before and after the uh, Tech Talk. If you're super early, um, you might actually get a chance to talk to the speaker or one of the engineers before everyone else. Like they might just be eating and you, you can just go up to them and be like, oh, excuse me, uh, I was wondering if I could tell you about myself and what I can do. Um, that happened to me at Hulu, for Hulu. So I talked to the engineer, I give him my pitch, and I had way more time than I could have at a job fair because he was just eating, right? And he had like 10 minutes versus like, the three or five you would have at a job fair. And during the tech talk, make sure you pay attention and listen and prepare some questions to ask for after the uh, tech talk. So um, after the tech talk, go to one of the engineers or go up to the speaker and just ask them like, those questions like, oh, uh, you're talking about this, this, this during the tech talk. Uh, I was wondering if you could elaborate on this or clarify on this. Uh, that shows that you're engaged, you're listening, and you actually care about what they're saying. Uh, you're not just there for the free food. And that can, that can be what it takes to get you that interview, to make you memorable. How do you go to tech talks? Yeah, um, it's pretty much nothing new for me to add. It's just make sure you take it, make sure you sit near the front so that way you can try and get to talk to them. Right. Uh, be early if possible because so that you'll get a seat and you'll ensure you'll get stuff if you swipe the food. And people will recognize you if you're early. Like I remember I was at Intuit's tech talk. I sat in the front row like 10 minutes before anyone else got there and they even like when they contacted me and called me about an interview they were like, yeah we remember you, you were the first person to sit in our, sit down for the tech talk. And it's just like, if you can leave an impression through that, like being punctual, being the first, or even just like volunteering questions during the actual talk itself, it's definitely a way to stop to stick out. And when you talk to the engineer or recruiter afterwards as well. All right. Um, for me, I actually got uh, first. I want to elaborate that yes, you should show up very early because uh, a lot of people show up for the tech talks, and um, especially at Google's, the lines will like wrap around, and they'll actually have to cut people off if you're on time you're too late and you won't be able to get in because the sheer amount of people that show up to these tech talks is pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, uh, besides, besides, was it Intuit? Yeah. Yeah, besides Intuit, um, did you go to any other tech talks? Do you have any tips? I went to a few ones. Like my friend, like he went to a Yelp tech talk the day before the career fair and he got a Yelp interview because when he went to them, when he went to them before the career fair, the, the engineer was just like telling him a, to fix like A, B, and C on his resume. So the engineer was super impressed when he came back the next day at the career fair, showing that he had just gone home, taken that advice, and fixed those things before coming back. And so that's how he got an interview. Like being able to see them before and after the career fair and just remind them is another way to like stick out and just show that you're worthy of getting in that interview. Right. A topic we haven't touched on. Uh, what do you recommend asking for advice? Um, where? Or? Like, what do you uh, recommend asking for advice, like, at a tech talk or at a job fair um, from a recruiter? You can just mix up whenever, like, one of my professors always insists that when you go to a career fair, have, an, have like, an extra resume for every company so that while you give them your resume, you can also be like, can you, do you have any feedback for me on my resume? And that way your resume is always improving as you go everywhere. Right. But at the same time, you should be, like, cognizant and um, conscious. Don't just listen. Don't just blindly listen to all the advice. Take it in. Uh, think about it, and then think about whether or not you want to do it. Mm -hmm. Or else your resume is just gonna keep changing, keep changing, keep changing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, if your school has an early access program, uh, UCSD does. 
Right. <laughs> Molly is looking so good. <laughs> so tired right now. Uh, when oh, you gosh. Uh, like, not enough. Oh, this is how it happened at my Two Sigma interview during the fourth round. Oh. You just like. I literally like fell asleep for like five, ten seconds. <laughs> oh shit.